welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. Today I have for you a Wantable, and this is one of their special edits. So I am wearing the shirt I just literally an hour ago got in my style edit. So I am recently ordered a style edit. It took forever to get here. Um, after I ordered my style edit, I saw that they have special themed edits and I thought, why not? So let me see if on the paperwork it tells me what edit we got here. This is the Fit and Fab. So right now it is currently, at least as of today, still going on. Um, this may not show for a couple days, so you might want to check. But they have some of their edits right now. You get like a free gift. So there's a free tote bag in here. So anyway, Wantable. Um, I had been, I love Stitch Fix. I've been getting Stitch Fix forever. Um, I like to get multiple clothing services just because you kind of get a variety of different things. But some of the other ones to me have been lackluster, like Fab Fit, not Fab Fit Fun, um, Fashion, Natalie Attire, Nadine West. It's just, to me, not necessarily great quality. So I've been watching other YouTubers get Wantable and it seems like Wantable has upped their game. Besides my style edit I got, um, I haven't gotten a Wantable for two to three years and I think they've evolved since then. Um, I love that there's a stream, even for these special edits, I was able to go through and kind of request some pieces, um, which I really appreciate. Um, I also appreciate that you get choices. You, you can take it back to the Postal Service or you can take it back to USPS, not USPS, UPS. So I like that you have um, both options. I also like the detail of sort of like, there's a stylus note plus pictures of everything. Um, so anyway, let's get started. Um, my bundle has kind of fallen apart, so let's see if we can get it out. But one of the things I appreciate is that you have personalized tissue paper. So there's a sticker that says, um, styled for Alicia. And so I also like with um, Wantable that you get seven pieces. So here we go. I am in desperate need of some really nice workout gear. Um, leggings especially so my i like capris and i like pockets so we will see um what's going on this first one off the bat i love the color and i love the pattern i don't have anything like that but at least from the picture it looks like a poncho-y thing and i'm not sure about ponchos so let's see i'm not even sure yeah okay so this is almost like what one of those like little like hoods that fall kind of folds down. I'm not into too many like turtleneck like things, but I do love the colors of this. So this to me, I don't know, is almost not workout wear. It would just be like a casual, which I think this is part of what I, I can't remember what edit I said I got. The fit and fab. Um, so I like the idea of this. I'm hoping it fits. Um, I love the colors. So this is the LS Kalnick. There you go, not a turtleneck. Kalnick Jaguar Java in a 1X. This is $70. So I know I think I, I want to try Wantable because I've had people, um, of the people I watch on YouTube say they're good quality pieces and I know you have to pay for that, but $70 for a casual top, that pains me. Um, I don't have anything in an animal print and I don't necessarily think that comes across as screaming animal print, but I love it. I'm in trouble if that fits because $70 for a casual top uh, pains me. All right, so I had requested a couple sports bra. It doesn't look like I got any. So they sent me a sports bra and I need a sports bra, but not this one. Um, this is an Exert Broad Indigo by MG, MPG Sport, $42. So in my little note, because um, I put that I need, and I didn't know how to word this, but I can't do like a razor back. I just have to have where the strap is just like a traditional bra. And I put that, that I just needed a strap that's a traditional bra strap, but I'm not quite sure um, that I did a good job because any strap like this just pulls on my neck, like, and I get major neck pain. So unfortunately this will go back 
it's pretty nice enough um kind of thick padding um i'm not going to try this on i would never try on the bra for you guys that's just not me um, i do think the back is cute um i may try it on just to see how it fits so i could give them feedback on that but sadly that's a no-go and i really do need a sports bra all right next up is i think a tank and this says in this together this is a very 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 soft tank um this is 45 dollars. this is by interval charcoal 1x now this is clearly meant to wear with a sports bra it's also a raw hem so i'm not quite sure how i feel about that as far as it's wear and tear um I'm also not the person to, like I will probably try this on just to see how this fits, but I'm not the person to kind of show my bra. Like I'm just, I have a bunch of like, I don't know, arm side fat and I don't know. So I don't think this is a winner for me. This is super soft though. Um, I don't mind the in this together part. But I don't think I like the raw hem on this because I'm afraid it will fray and kind of wear. I don't, I don't like big armholes. All right, next up, this is a top I requested. Um, it's a Dolman Side Tie T um, Balance Collection, $45. So I like this is cute. I think peach is a good color on me. Um, I like side ties. So um, this is cute. I don't like it when they have a, a, a stripe in the back. Um, but this is cute. I'm not sure for $45 either. It just doesn't feel like $45 worth of quality. But I don't know. I feel like I'm going to have to try to keep an open mind with Wantable because I think the prices are going to be more than I will want to pay. I'm trying to find fabrics for this because this kind of, I mean, even though this is super soft, this almost feels like, I don't know, I could get this at Walmart for cheaper. Um, and I can't seem to find, so it's just polyester, rayon, and spandex. So have you guys heard of this brand, Interval? Super cute though. All right, so this is free. Um, and they had a couple, like three, when I signed up, they had like three edits. One, you got a hat. I think the men's one, you got something, or I don't know. And then you got, then there was this one with a tote. And it says grateful, and then it has wantable down at the bottom. So this is super cute. Um, so I get to keep this regardless of if I buy anything or not. Um, I don't know what I'll use it for. It's not big enough for like a grocery run. Um, so I don't know if I need a size, this um, size of a tote, but it is um, definitely um, cute. So I don't know whether I'll keep that or uh, put that in a giveaway. Um, let me know. Any ideas for this? Because I, I don't necessarily carry things to and from work. And this is not big enough for a grocery run. So give me some ideas. Okay. So I really need some Capri workout pants. Um, I have to have a pocket. I did request these. Also in my note though, I said I do not like super compression. These sort of feel like they're gonna be super compression. Um, I don't like that. I don't like feeling like a sausage and that's personally how I feel in compression leggings. Um, they do feel like great quality. Um, they do have my pocket. These are by Interval in a 1X, 24% spandex, 76% polyester. I need to go look at my other workout leggings. Are they polyester? That just feels like a not good workout thing. So these are $68. Um, if they fit right and I like them, I would be willing to pay that because I really, some of my ones from Nadine West that I thought I really liked um, are fine for walking and stuff, but biking, like somehow the seam just hurts and feels weird. But these feel like they're gonna be so tight and I'm more of the more comfy workout leggings. Um, so I am excited to try them on, but I'm afraid they're going to be too uh, compression. Next up, it looks like we have a matching set, which is really cute. Um, so we have a jacket. It's got pockets, um, kind of like a mock turtleneck up here. Um, under the sleeves, there's almost like that stretchy fabric. This is $68 in a 1X. It feels good quality. I am not the person who wears like workout outfits. Um, and I'm more of a like, 
what's that brand? Like a fleece. I call it a fuzzy, but it's not. What are those? Like, um, uh, the brand's like uh, waving. So I don't know. This is a very light jacket. So I'm happy to try it on. I don't know if I need it though. And then the matching joggers, um, are cute. They seem huge, but I bet they'll fit just fine. So I don't know. Joggers, I don't, don't scream me. I wonder if it, this is supposed to go with that um, Jaguar top. All right, I am back with the first two pieces. And I guess I'm relieved that the $70 top is not for me. I just, this whole outfit just makes me feel very matronly. I don't know. Um, definitely, I, would, I don't think I would ever pay $70 for this top. The cow neck isn't bad. It's just not my cup of tea. Um, so I don't know. It's kind of scratchy. So no way, not $70 worth. So joggers just aren't me either. Like these seem kind of big and baggy, which maybe that's what joggers are. But like, I just, they're just not my thing. Um, they're for some people and they're awesome. Like if you love joggers, that is totally awesome. I don't know whether these are supposed to fit this way, but I, they're just not my cup of tea. Like, I don't think I would even want to go to Walmart in this outfit. Like I just, I don't, I just, this outfit's not me. Um, I love the concept of this top. It has kind of high high like slits so I would be like showing my stomach um if this top had a different neckline um I think it might look cute with jeans but again I wouldn't pay $70 for it so onward to the next one fingers crossed I find something um I'm a little afraid for this one that I may lose my style fee all right I am back with some pieces so I didn't try this on so I know I'm not going to keep it and it's funny um after I stopped my little intro, I read the stylist note and she actually references my request for non crisscross bra straps. So to me, this would count as a crisscross. So I don't know how to describe to her that I just want the front and back straps. I can't have anything, no razor back, no crisscross. So I'm not gonna try those on because I know I'm not gonna keep it. It just, they just give me neck aches. So I have on this tank and I do think it's cute. It is super soft. Again, it would pain me to spend 45 bucks on it, but if, that, if all else fails, I might. Um, I like that we're in this together. To me, I would almost think of this as my husband and I kind of like parenting together. The side slats are not that terrible. Um, I do have a sports bra that I could wear with it. So this would be perfect for hiking. Um, and then I have the black... Um, workout i guess i would call them pants they're saying capri but as you can see i mean i'm five nine and they're pretty much ankle pants i mean they're only about an inch off from being pants and i know it seems silly but i prefer capri um so i would prefer these to be about four to five inches shorter um to be mid mid kind of up here so I don't know. Um, they, they're not as compression-y as I thought they would be. So they're not bad, but I just, it's hot most of the year in California. I get hot while I'm hiking. Could I possibly need some ankle pants or pants? Maybe, but I really want Capri. And it says Capri, but golly, these would not be Capri. Like if you were any shorter than me, uh, they'd you know be down to your feet. So anyway, let's go. We have some more pieces. All right, so up next, we have this sort of peachy number, and it's a Dolman side Tai Chi Heather Georgia Balance Collection, $45. So some of the positives, it, I love the color. Um, I think this is a good color for me. Um, I'm not a fan of the Dolman on this one because it just seems to pull. Like it's at a funny spot and it pulls. Um, normally I like the side knot but I really don't know. Now I kind of regret putting my style edit, edit up. I put my style edit up today, but I already knew what I wanted in the style edit. So I feel like maybe I should have put this up first because I really don't know what to keep. Uh, but I have five days, so I'll probably just put this up a couple days later. I'm not, I'm not feeling the dolman on this one. It just feels weird. I feel like I'm gonna play with it. 
Um, so I think this is a no. Um, I do have this jacket, but I don't really have a need for a jacket. I'm not the person who wears like um, kind of workout jackets when I'm working out. Um, I don't like the neck on this. So um, yeah, I don't know. The pockets are also really at an awkward spot. Like you have to go up and back to get into them. So if you were into this style of jacket, it's nice. This just bothers my neck. Like I don't like that. Um, yeah, I don't like that. And it's kind of very tight on the sleeves. They do have this sort of ribbed stretchy material, but I don't like how it's tight. So this jacket is no, this, this, pointy zipper thing into my neck just bugs me and this is $68 so I feel like we're at the point where do I lose $21.55 since they charge tax on the style fee that's the funny thing about these guys is that they charge tax on your style fee um the only thing I would consider I think keeping um would be this shirt, but I don't, I'm not feeling it because of the dolman. The dolman just, it just sits funny under my arm. So the only thing I think I would consider keeping is this tank. It's a $45 tank. I think I'm gonna have to, I, I think I'm gonna try Wantable at least one more month, um, especially for the style edit. I'm not sure about the workout edit. Um, probably I'll do one more month for each. So this is super soft. Definitely could use it. We hike all the time. I'm just not a fan of the big armhole, although it's not a deal breaker. It's not as bad as I thought. I'm very concerned about the raw hem. I'm really afraid that's going to just not wash well, not wear well. So this would cost me an extra 20 bucks. And if I just look at it that way, that it's this cost me 20 bucks, then probably I would keep it. Like if I was at the store, I would never, ever, ever pick this up for 45 bucks. Um, but it is soft, it's cut well, I don't know. So I'm probably gonna keep this, but I think I will wait and decide until I post this. So um, when I post this, I would love your advice. So I did uh, get a free tote. You could look at it that way too. Um, but overall, the active edit or whatever this is called, I can't remember. Um, I do think it's fun though that um, Wantable has these themed edits, the fit and fab. So I really do need some workout gear. I just don't think this is the workout gear for me. Um, maybe I'll wear these um, leggings around for a while, but I just don't do pants. I don't do pants for my workout pants. So anyway, let me know what you thought. You know, should I keep that tank or should I just send everything back? Anyway, thank you for